Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. Tell you what, I love cranking out one of those intros, it always gets me like really excited to record. I'm out of breath a little bit and it hurts my throat a little bit more, but my god, you can't like, I don't know, you crank out a Hello Terraria Enthusiast, it feels good, genuinely. I don't know why, right? <laughs> I never thought when I first did it, it would mean anything <laughs> or it would help get me in a good mood, but it does. So welcome back. Today's episode is going to be some classic Terraria. We are diving into the earth. We are looting chests. Essentially, we're just doing all the things you would do at the very start of the game because I tell you what, we need to get a cloud in a bottle before we can do any of the bosses. But I have a strong feeling that we would have a pretty good chance if we did a boss today. So, I took the time to build out uh, this elevator. So, it's pretty deep. It's, uh, it's alright. Uh, but what I did was, I got to this little bit here. And I was like, I'm gonna leave it be and come back and record it. So, I'll show you what I found. I first found this little minecart track. It all links up with where we've been. So, here. And we, we've been here before. I died a minute ago. Four minutes ago, in fact. Just, just falling down the hole. I, didn't, I wasn't going down the hole and then was like, oh no, you know, need to hit the ground and do it properly. No, I literally just walked and fell down the hole like a moron. Um, but yeah, I found this area over here and I wanted to come and check it out on camera because I don't know what's inside of this. Um, so it could be really good. I don't know. Right, what's inside? Ooh, it's a golden scepter. I tell you what, there's more chest loot. The thing is, I thought, when I got more chest loot, I completely forgot what it was, truthfully. I thought it just gave you more items inside of here. Like, instead of giving you, like, four potions, it might give you six potions. Or it might give you a few more items. You know, just to kind of, like, flesh things out a little bit. No, it just seems to give you just more and more items. What's this one? So, the Golden Scepter is a magic weapon. It does 12 magic damage. That's not bad. That's actually not bad. I tell you what, for a Calamity series, starting out with uh, non-Calamity weapons, I'm doing alright. It's not too bad. I like it. I tell you what, I'm always game for a magic weapon. You all know me. You know I like magic weapons. So I didn't just find that. I actually found down here two life crystals. That's right. We're in the money. So give me one of those. And I'll also take one of these. Thank you very much. Nice one. And I'll work my way into here. Now, yesterday, I asked you guys, because I was a little bit nervous about assigning Vein Miner to my mouse button. Yeah, it works. Thank you for uh, for answering my question. I got a bunch of responses, and I trusted you <laughs> to, to let me, to tell me the truth, and you guys have, right? Because I don't know. You could be some epic trolls. I don't know. Right, let's kill this dude anyway. Do you know what I'm doing right now? I thought you might appreciate this. It's world building, you know? You know, what's the, the person behind the microphone doing? So, I've actually got next to me my Butterbeer Tankard. The one that got replaced because the uh, the parents stole it. And I'm drinking cream soda out of it. And I am so convinced, right? If you want to try Butterbeer at home, if you're a big Harry Potter fan, get some cream soda, bosh a little bit of cream on it, right? I've not got cream on top of mine because that's rancid. Um cream and fizzy drinks. It's not a great combination. That's like, it's heavy on the stomach. I wouldn't recommend that. I worked in a bar. I don't know if you guys know this, um, but I worked in a bar for a couple of years. I think it was like two years. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and we had to mix drinks. And we had this like big giant board. It was like a, um, like a beer mat. So it was like a big beer mat. On the uh, on the bar, so a beer mat is essentially there to uh, to catch like any spillage, and you can wash them and stuff. It's just hygienic, right? <laughs> and I remember this board had fifty different recipes for shots that you could take, like alcoholic shots. And um, and I remember it was my like quest while I worked there to try every one of them at some point, and some of them relied on uh, really, really. <laughs> I was just gonna like go on to it and just mine all the gold myself Really game? That's all right. At least I know where I died Um, but anyway like a lot of them relied on mixing like cream liqueur so Alcoholic drinks based on cream, you know like milk cream. You know what I mean? 
and mixing with other drinks like fizzy drinks and sugary drinks, blah, blah, blah. And they were just disgusting because when you mix cream with a lot of other things, it just curdles. Fah. All right. So as I was saying, anyway, um, I just remember all of these shots just being just absolutely rancid. So I guess it was good in a way because whenever anybody would order them, because they were like a quid, I think they were a quid each, and they had like really fancy graphics. They never looked anything like they were meant to look like. But like they'd have like a name like um, tiramisu, right? And tiramisu is like a, a coffee chocolate dessert, right? I think it is. And it'd be like Bailey's, which is like coffee flavored liqueur mixed with like a shot of chocolate syrup or sort of like and a bit of whipped cream on top and they were just ranting anyway but it was good because i could always instruct people which ones were good and which ones are bad and some of them were pretty good they weren't bad anyway i just i, I you know it's only just real it's only just clicked to me that they clearly put cream on top of it because it's cream soda I know that sounds super dumb, but obviously there is no cream in cream soda. It's just whatever. I don't know. I don't even know what's in cream soda, but there's definitely no cream, right? Is there cream? All right, my whole view of reality is getting warped. So I think what it might be worth doing is it might be worth actually making some armor. Now, I don't usually make pre-hard mode armor before getting given some by a certain boss. Like if I do like the Desert Scourge and I get like a set of armor, then I'm, I'm game for it. But considering we already have an ancient gold helmet, it is probably worth just making a gold set just for the added uh, defense. So, smelting all of this up, we've got 32 bars. Now, I want to make the... Can I not even make a chest piece? Or is it really that expensive? That's actually 30 bars. What? Hey, I don't know who's running Terraria behind the scenes, but my god. That is... That is, it's, that's steep, isn't it? That's really steep. It's almost like I don't even want to make it out of principle now. <laughs> I will make it, though, because for defense, you can't go wrong. Now I've got the worst-looking outfit in Terraria. Just some slightly gold boots and <laughs> a really daft helmet. Okay. All right, so continuing onwards with our exploring. I'm really just hyping up for the uh, cloud in a bottle. That's all I really want. Uh, but I made a great discovery earlier today, <laughs> and uh, and I think you guys will want to hear this. So I posted it onto Twitter, and it got some great responses on Twitter. Usually my tweets, they don't go, you know, they don't explode ever, right? I don't have the biggest Twitter following in the world. Um, but anyway, so I was in a retro game shop earlier, and, uh, and whenever I see a copy of Terraria, it wasn't a retro game shop, it was a second-hand shop. Um, but whenever I see a copy of Terraria... I like, I don't know why, because I've played Terraria a million times, I own all the editions. I have this like strange addiction to going over and just seeing like how much it costs or I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Like I'll read the back of it or whatever. And just, I don't know, it's some kind of, it, I think it's pride. I don't know why I do it. Anyway, so I found the, the PlayStation 4 copy of Terraria. Now, for the nerds out there, the PS4 version of Terraria has two prints. So you've got print number one, which is pre 1.3, and print number two, which is post 1.3. So that's been out for like a year now, whatever. Um, but the pre 1.3 one has a pretty good mistake. I think you guys might like this. This kind of fits into something I would do. I'm maybe convinced that I made the PS4 version myself. Because when you read the back of the case for the PS4 version of Terraria, it actually says you can cross play. Uh, it says blah, 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 blah. You can crossplay thanks to Terratia's um, thing with the PlayStation. Basically, they misspelled Terraria. On the on the case of the game, it says Terratia. It's brilliant, right? It's literally the thing that I would do. T and T and R are next to each other on a keyboard, so it's literally the most easy mistake to make. But it's just brilliant. I tell you what, look at this for World Gen. A chest underneath, and it's a bronze candle. Uses five mana. I'm very much regretting this, uh, <laughs> I'm regretting this mod. I feel like this mod has snuffed me out of so many items now, and I'm beginning to lose it. So, oh, so it mines silt really fast. Ah, oh, that's kind of, that's cool to know. Silt is annoying, so I guess that's good. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> I just thought you'd like to know that. Yeah, going into these little, like, retro game shops or whatever, it's, it's a little bit of an obsession of mine. I have this thing where I like to collect 
old games, but they'll only collect a certain few. So, like, I'm not one of these people that I'm like, I need every copy of Nintendo's Mario Land. You know, I'm, I'm not like that kind of guy. I'm more like, if I see it, if I know a game I want in my head, I will go out and look for it, right? Let me grab this heart. So, for example, say I want a copy of uh, SimCity for the SNES. I will go out and look for it in a retro game shop. And the rule I have with myself is that I have to buy it from a shop. Can't be online because I think when you're collecting games, part of the fun is is going and checking out if it's there or not. That's really the best part, right? So if you add the online factor to it all, because you can get anything on eBay these days, it takes away a bit of the sport. That's just my hobby. I like to uh, I like to do that when I'm on lunch. I don't know. <laughs> is that strange? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I like it. It's a great hobby for me. I find it quite fun. So yeah, I often see copies of Terraria. And I'm going to be looking out for them now. I want to see how rare this misprint is. Because is it on all versions of the PS4 version of Terraria? Is it not? If you've got a copy at home, check it out. <laughs> Leave me a comment and let me know. Because uh, I'm, I'm curious. It, it's strange to, to have a game that misspells its own title. That is rare. <laughs> so you might be rich one day because that might be a collector's item. You'll get someone like me who's obsessed with this kind of nerdy stuff. He'll buy it off you. Keep it in good condition. <laughs> Protect the Taratia. Hmm, okay. Oh, do you know what? If anybody ever says I mispronounced Terraria, I've got a great response. <laughs> oh, have you not heard about Terratia? <laughs> that's, that's my favorite game. Okay, right. We're exploring on the world. I need a chest with some, with some, uh, with a, I just, all I need is a clown in a bottle. I'm so hyped for the clown in a bottle. Because once I get that and I get my extra mobility, it's going to make things so much nicer for us. But it's just finding it, right? That's, that's it. Ooh, Amethyst. Now, I wasn't very, uh, I wasn't, you know, I don't think I was the biggest fan of the Spider-Man hook yesterday. Wasn't really doing too much for me. But I realize now that it's one of these ones that can shoot multiple. How many can it shoot? It can shoot four. So I think that's probably why it's, like, hyped up a little bit. Because I was, like, kind of bashing it yesterday. It's a bit short range. But I do think I appreciate this a little bit more. Um... Right, I'm going to go find a jungle. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go explore the jungle. Hopefully I don't get killed in the jungle, of course. Because it's a rough place to be. But I think the jungle might wield some better results for us. So I'm checking out the desert instead. Because I think this might actually wield some, uh, some quicker results. Because I have quite a lot of bombs on me. Or at least I did. So I'm just mining through trying to find uh, any chests I can. I just found one. And I was, I was convinced it was a flare gun. It's not. It's the Marksman Revolver, and it's from the More Chest Loot mod. I tell you what, <laughs> I really hope that mod hasn't completely uh, gimped us a bunch of, uh, of items. Because I, really um, I really want my cloud in a bottle. One thing I, I can't get over at the minute, it's been playing on my mind a lot, right? This is serious stuff. Why is everybody releasing everything in April? April just seems like it's going to be the best month. Now, when I look back... On, uh, on 2017. This is a year in particular. I think back to March. And I think March was a really good month. I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> the Nintendo Switch came out in March. Zelda Breath of the Wild came out in March. And that's all you really need to know. Because that was just iconic. Now April. April's going to seriously contend with it. I feel like in a year people will go. Hmm. April 2019. What a great year. Because. If you're not all clued in. That's the same month that the new Avengers comes out. So that's Avengers Endgame. So the conclusion to like a saga that's been going on for, for many, many moons, right? It's over 10 years at this point. You know, the conclusion and also like the beginning of the, you know, well, you know, it's not the, it's not the final one. But it's a big storyline, right? That's going to get ended in, in that month. And then you've got Game of Thrones. Another thing that's been going for 10 years. That's having its final season in April. I mean, what's going on? That's two of the biggest events of the year in one month. And Sabrina and the Teenage Witch on Netflix. <laughs> that gets season two. <laughs> and that competes just as well, I'm sure. Man, what is it with these uh, band of regens? That's all right. That's all right. I'm just going to push on through. But I am really excited for it. Like, I'm enjoying... Oh, I'll tell you what. Easter. Easter's in April. 
and you all know I'm doing Lent, and uh, and I can't eat any chocolate. It's a bit traumatic, right? <laughs> but when I went to Harry Potter Studios, I bought a chocolate frog, right? And uh, and this chocolate frog was like a, a solid chocolate. It was more like a toad than a frog. I don't know the technicalities of um of reptiles, you know. But I, I, it's, it was more of a toad. So it, ooh. Oh, oh, ho, ho. we found the new thing. I think we might have found the new thing because I could hear the music and I was like, oh, the desert music sounds good. Maybe I should comment how good the desert music sounds. Oh, we found the new thing. I can't remember for the life of me of what I was talking about. Um, what was it? Oh, a chocolate frog, right? I got a chocolate frog and I ate half of it and I wrapped it up, you know, nice and safe. And then I went in my cupboard, I was peckish in the middle of the night, and I saw that chocolate frog, and I was so devastated that I couldn't just have a little munch of that chocolate frog. It broke my heart. So what is this? Is this is this literally the secret? We've found it. We've found it. This is what everyone protected me about. For that, I am actually very grateful. I read all of my comments, and nobody ruined this. Everyone was like, I can't wait for you to find the new thing in the world. So that's great. You guys have been awesome. So what is this then? Is it a bit like um I don't really know what to uh how to explain it. It's a bit of water. Now what do you get here? The music is fantastic, by the way. Let me just say that straight off the bat. Okay, so non-mineable. Now I'm guessing that Because this is Yeah, I'm gonna guess. It's under the desert, so I'm going to guess that we can't access this area for a little while. I reckon do a boss, maybe. Two bosses, three bosses, come back. That's my prediction. I reckon this is probably Demonite. Demonite worthy. But we found it. So that's actually really sick. I did not expect to find it today, so... Yeah, cool. The music's great. The, the music's really, really great. As always, Calamity, let's be real. <laughs> so, returning to the plan... I'm now just uh, bombing through the jungle just to quickly try and find that cloud in the bottle because I want it for tomorrow. Well, you know, for whatever we do next. Because it'll probably be tomorrow because it's taking me so long to find. Uh, because I want to do a boss and, uh, and I'm terrible at doing bosses without like a, a little bit of extra movement. I definitely don't have those ninja skills, you know what I mean? So while I'm on the topic of, uh, of having the moves like a ninja, one thing that really caught me off guard today, like, it just really shocked me, was, um, so you guys know Ninja? Ninja, the, um, the Fortnite Twitch streamer, YouTuber, blah, blah, blah. Um, see, I obviously knew that Ninja was becoming a very large YouTuber, very rapidly, you know. It ha he had one of the, the fastest growing channels of, uh, of last year. I think it was maybe the fastest growing ever. Now, what really caught me off guard is today, he actually passed Jack Jacksepticeye on YouTube in subscribers. And that is that is really mental for me because I've never been somebody who watches Jack Jacksepticeye. Like, he's just never been on my radar. Like, there's, there's way too many YouTubers out there to watch. But when I think of, like, the face of gaming on YouTube, I think of Jack Jacksepticeye. I think of Jack Jacksepticeye. I think of Markiplier, uh, Game Theory... At a time you used to think of PewDiePie, obviously not anymore. Um, so, knowing that he's been passed in subscribers, like, that blows my mind. <laughs> like, it's so strange, isn't it? Because obviously, like, he is an absolute titan on this platform. He just is. He's, a, he's an absolute icon. You know? And, the, the, you know, he's, he's done a lot of good and all this, blah, blah, blah. Um, it, just, it just blew my mind. I think, though, here's my prediction, right, guys? You ready? I reckon Jacksepticeye will pass Ninja. I don't think it'll be long until he does. I just because Jacksepticeye gets double the amount of views a month. I don't think it'll be long before uh, the the balance tips either way. And that's no disrespect to Ninja. I don't watch Ninja either, so I, I really don't have a dog in this race. But that's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> it's just times are changing. I feel maybe I, I do feel a little bit old in that sense. Like times are changing. Oh. Oh, we got slain! All right. Well, I think I'm gonna. Uh, I think I'm gonna end it there. I think that's gonna be my conclusion with a very shocked James. I'm gonna take these life crystals though, 
So I'm very excited for them. Om nom nom. Uh, so we're up to 320 health. It's actually been a very productive day. Like, I've got a lot of stuff done by, like, jumping around and stuff, like, using some jump goods. Uh, I've got another accessory. But I am going to be working on that cloud in a bottle tomorrow. We'll probably end up doing a boss tomorrow. So it'll be either King Slime or Desert Scourge. I don't know yet. But I'm excited. Right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you did enjoy, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up. And if you are new around here, please click that subscribe button. Maybe consider clicking the notification bell as well. And that's about it. Thank you all for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.